In terms of the reverses that Ukraine appears to be suffering on the battlefield, there are reports that are coming forward that Ukraine is quite clearly outmanned and outgunned, with Russians able to send in more soldiers and also more ammunition to the battlefield. But because there is no more military aid coming in from the West, the Ukrainian position appears to be very brittle. What is your reading of the situation on the battleground? I think that's pretty assessed uh, accurate. The trends of war have been going against Ukraine for well over a year. I've been saying many times on your network, there is no military path to victory for Ukraine, and there hasn't been. There's, they've made some big gains in the fall of 2022 in the Kharkiv and the Kherson region that you cited a second ago, but those were very specific issues where they caught Russia with their pants down, so to speak, and they, they surprised them, but they recovered from that surprise. And now then the power of the Russian side and just the scale and the scope of what Russia can bring to the table, both in manpower, equipment, and industrial capacity especially, cannot be matched in any of those capacities by Ukraine. The longer this goes, the greater the chance that the Ukraine army eventually cracks and possibly breaks. And, and then the Russians could literally roll through because they are just methodically putting pressure across the entire 900 kilometer front. So I, I see no path to Ukraine even holding on if they keep trying to fight a, 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 re, a war of attrition. They can't win that. They can't win any other way. So the wise thing to do is to get the best negotiated deal they can get right now and end the war. But I don't see any willingness on the part of either Ukraine or the West, for that matter, to go down that path. I think I think you've given a very you know com holistic view of, in fact, what is happening on the battleground. But this is not just a military contest because there's a lot of diplomacy that is taking place behind the scenes, and the Ukrainians at this moment are complaining that unless they get more military aid from the West, by which may, they mean the United States, it is simply impossible for them to make any kind of you know, headway in this war, even to just defend themselves. How do you see this war unfolding diplomatically? The fact that no more Western aid has come through for more than a month now, does it mean that the United States, which was backing Ukraine to the hilt, is now quietly letting Ukraine sink? I'll just question the premise that many are holding, that if they get more of this aid from the West, that somehow that's going to make a difference. It won't. Look, you don't have to look any further than the first 18 months or so when the United States in particular gave 5,000 military vehicles and millions upon millions of rounds of, of other kinds of ammunition, artillery shells, rockets, air defense systems, etc., and it didn't make any difference. So the idea that $60 billion now will make a difference when, there, when it hasn't so far is just unrealistic in the extreme. It's not gonna happen. So the premise is wrong. Therefore, what the diplomacy should be doing is finding the best negotiated settlement they can. If they're waiting for more money from the US, uh, I think they're gonna be disappointed because they may not get it. But even if they do, they're gonna be disappointed because it will not result in the change on the battlefield that they seem to hope. That's the truth. Right.